Hi beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today we've got a reading which is the wonders of the his hidden realms. Okay, so we've got some messages here for you. So pick a pile, <clears throat> pile one, pile two, pile three and this is like mystical Sunday. I always feel a bit mystical on a Sunday for some reason. I like to do these mystical messages for you. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment to get entered into the competition because when I get to a thousand subscribers I'll be giving away two decks of my designs and a reading to the lucky winner. So continue to comment, okay? So we get on with your reading. Hello Pyre One. So this is the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck. So we have Lady of the Mirror, Reflection and Non-Judgment. The Eagle King, The Big Picture, Angelic Help. The Swan Queen, Transformation, Intuition and Patience. So let's get your additional messages for you. The Lady of the Mirror. She is both an ally and challenger. Asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by the events in your life. She represents the powerful force of the law of attraction and reminds you that what you are is what you attract. That isn't to say you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or if you find yourself a victim of a big picture event. This is distorted interpretation of law. Certain events are fated to test our faith. Find yourself within the web woven through your life your relationships, your opportunities, your desires, seeming failures and successes. Observe how you've responded to life's challenges, great and small, and be aware of what's familiar in the present. Release all judgment and accept things exactly as they are, with love. The Lady of the Mirror asks that you honour every part of your story as essential source to your highest unfolding. Can you see yourself as being exactly where you need to be on your path? Do you love what you see in the mirror? Can you perceive your part in your reactions and the motives behind your current inquiry? You will find your answer in a thorough and honest self-appraisal. So that's very deep. So the next message is the Eagle King. This is a sign that your highest destiny is within reach. You're on the right path now, even if you can't see where you're going. The Eagle King soars high above the mountains and valleys of life and is able to see the big picture when you seem to be lost in a bit of a fog. He makes a formidable ally as he takes your prayers up towards the sun and releases them to the divine. They will be answered for the highest good of all. It is a fortunate omen when the Eagle King decides to be your ally. And then we have the Swan Queen. The Swan Queen glides your way and asks that you look at your reflection in the events of your life. She gives you the ability to see the beauty that has transformed your life from ignorance to wisdom. The Swan Queen lets you know that it's time to go within and seek the answers in your own intuition. Don't look outside yourself for answers. The true power lies reflected in the still waters within you. Now is the moment to meditate and ask for a vision. The power of psychic perception is inherent in you and the Swan Queen will help you dive deep into your query to find the answers you seek. This is a reminder to allow time to transform ideas into reality. Nothing happens overnight. So powerful messages for you there. So now we have some messages from the Keepers of Light. We have Mary Magdalene, Teach Awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So there's different forms of teachers in the world, isn't there? There's teachers as we, you know, think of in schools and colleges and universities. But there's also teachers in life, you know, role models, people that we can look up to, people we want to aspire to be, 
you know you may have knowledge that you need to share with other people that you've gained in your journey through life and it says you have something important to share so follow the call to share your guidance and your knowledge and your wisdom with others don't let anything stop you is what the message is here okay master buddha increased awareness deep connection trust your inner voice so some of you may be connecting to your intuition to the divine you may have opened your third eye chakra your crown chakra may have opened okay and you have that increased awareness now you know you're open to the universe to the divine connection that is everywhere and it's saying trust your inner voice okay so trust and follow your intuition at all times master jesus forgiveness <clears throat> You're on the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So this could be some of you watching, you may have had issues with a father figure in your life. Okay, and you know, we're born into these families that help us grow, you know, and they can be challenging situations, very often dysfunctional families. And forgiveness is one of the, you know, very strong spiritual lessons that we must learn in on this planet okay and it's not just forgiveness of others it's forgiveness of ourselves because we make mistakes we're not perfect so you need to forgive anyone in your past who has hurt you it doesn't excuse their behavior it just gives yourself permission to move on from that connection you know from that past event or upset that is really holding you back in your life okay so you can move forward in your life with a lighter heart. These are the sacred destiny cards. We have illumination and love. So get your messages. As the sun rises over the far mountains, mists begin to swirl upward, illuminated by the golden radiant rays of morning light. In many traditions, mist symbolises what is called the mystic veil, which represents an entrance point into unseen realms. In ancient and native cultures, mists are associated with mystical and magical inner dimensions. <clears throat> mist in the mountains represents higher states of consciousness. What the landscape wants you to know, the upward spiralling mist rising in the mountains suggests that those in the realm of spirit, your spirit protectors, ancestors and guardians are close at hand, assisting you on your upward journey of illumination. They are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds. Even if you can't see what's ahead, spirit is close at hand. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you see and what you think, and you will be guided in a wondrous direction. So that's beautiful, isn't it? You know, your guides are all around you at this time. And then we have love. Wild rose. Roses are a universal symbol of love. The rose was associated with Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. It was also thought to represent truth. In Roman times, a rose was hung in meeting places with the understanding that only truth could be spoken under the rose. In many Native American tribes, wild roses are a powerful symbol of life. Some tribes believed that wild roses were protection, so they kept them in their homes. The wild rose, as opposed to the domesticated rose, represents a love that is wild and free and without bounds. It blossoms all summer and is beloved by bees and butterflies. What this landscape wants you to know that love is all around you love is coming into your life you're already more cherished than you can possibly know indeed you're a sacred vessel for love to flow through you when you stand in the center of it all all is well no matter what is happening around you you know that you are loved and you are lovable you know there is nothing that you need to do to deserve love you are enough just as you are the creator is love and in the depth of your soul you are love in matters of the heart and romance, all is healing or is already healed. In terms of self-love, your confidence and self-esteem are growing as you take time to cherish and take care for, your, for yourself. 
So that's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I've always loved roses. They're absolutely stunning, aren't they? The colours they come in, you know, the different types, you know, the scents, you know. And when I was a little girl, I used to <laughs> try and make perfume out of rose petals. I don't know if any of you remember doing that. So the final message is the Angelic Dreams Oracle. And we have blue. Communication in the truth. So this is about the throat chakra, okay? Maybe there's been um, a lack of communication in a situation. Maybe you've not shared your truth with somebody, okay? So maybe you need to do some work on this throat chakra to clear this center so that you can speak your truth and communicate your truth to another person or even yourself. Okay, so work on your throat chakra and hopefully communication will Im improve and increase with the person that you're asking about. Okay, so there are your messages, Paul. One, so thank you for watching. Take care. Hello Pile 2, so these are your messages, thank you for watching, please like, share, subscribe, comment to get entered into the free draw when I reach a thousand subscribers and I will be giving away two decks and a reading to those of you that have been doing that and especially the comments, okay I'm looking at the comments, thank you. So let's get your messages, so we have Sisters of the Seasons, Cycles of Growth, Natural Law, Divine Order. Gaia's Garden, Fruition, Abundance, Reaping What You Sow. The Desert Prince, Survival, False Promises. So let's get these messages for you. Sisters of the Seasons. When these sisters meet you on your path, they remind you that everything has a natural rhythm that obeys a higher law. Just as the seasons magically pass, be reminded the nature of birth, growth, harvest and decay cannot be altered. So if you keep on your path with determination and discernment, allowing for the natural course of events to unfold, success is assured. Divine appropriate timing is guiding your desires into perfect manifest form. This is a good period to start new things, as you've moved out of winter into the beginning of spring. Continue with patience and be aware of the rhythms of your opportunities. There will be periods when things slow down and begin anew. Move into fruition and then slow down again in a never-ending natural flow. Be mindful of which sister greets you, for she pints directly at the next. Every moment counts. That's beautiful. So now we have Gaia's Garden. In Gaia's Garden you have everything you need to make your dreams come true. There is no shortage of anything and you're constantly reminded of the law of supply. Gaia is infinite spirit manifest in all tangible things. She represents the abundance of nature. When she comes to you as your ally, she invites you to partake of all the blessings of life. There will always be enough for everyone. Success comes to you from the fruits of your intentions and all is well with the world as a result. This is also a sign to remind you to give thanks and maintain an attitude of humility and gratitude as your greatest good now manifests to you. Gaia's gifts are sweeter when you share them with others. So yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Because our planet that we live on, Mother Gaia, she is abundant and she, there is enough for all. We should just appreciate that more. And then we have the Desert Prince. When you stumble upon the Desert Prince, you'll receive a gift. The plant life that exists in the desert environment is well defended, tough and succulent even though it gets little or no water. In spite of external conditions, extraordinary life can form and thrive. Be tough, have courage and dare to dream no matter what the circumstances. It may seem to be hard time, but not only will you survive, you will thrive. In spite of conditions, you'll succeed. Dry spells are also true tests of faith and courage. Expect nothing less than what is in your most precious dreams and watch miracles manifest. So it's basically saying if you're going through a tough time, just have faith and belief in yourself and you will get through that, okay? So now we have the Keepers of Light messages. So we have Bridget, Inner Strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognise you have the power. So the beautiful colour in this card reminds me of the green, green of the heart chakra, okay? 
So maybe you need to do some work on your heart chakra to open up to give and receive love. It's saying here you have the inner strength, okay? So you have that inner strength as a desert princess to overcome any obstacle. All you need to do is believe in yourself and recognise that you have that power. Archangel Michael, trust in heaven. You are safe. Angel, angels stand close, surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Archangel Michael is, you know, the right hand of God. He is the archangel that can be everywhere at once. He's the most powerful archangel. And he is the one to call on if you need protection or to help you to feel safe with your family. He is also the one to help you cut cords of negative attachments to people, places and situations. The message here is saying you are safe. Trust in heaven, okay? Your angels are close by at this time. Give all your concerns and worries over to the angels at this time. They are here to assist, okay? White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. So this is beautiful card, isn't it? Native Americans, you know, many people have these as spirit guides. You know, this is their ancient traditions are very much protectors of Mother Earth, Mother Gaia. And they are here to guide and assist us on our journey on the planet. So maybe you need to go within or do some research to connect to your ancestors, you know, to see how far this goes back, what your connections are, what, what wound is there for you to be healed in this family connection. That's beautiful. So now we have the Sacred Destiny cards. We have Simplicity and security so let's get your messages imagine a single white feather illuminated against the blue sky wafting on warm air currents as it floats to the earth with simplicity and grace both Native Americans and Egyptians thought feathers were messages from the sky gods. Chiefs would wear feathers to symbolise their communion with the Creator. It was believed that when one wore feathers on one's head, messages from a human could travel to spirit. Likewise, messages and energy from the spiritual realms could travel back down to the human through the hollow shaft of a feather. Feathers were always also wafted through the air to cleanse and purify a space. The landscape wants you to know. To find sacred simplicity and have clarity, do only what matters. Release everything else. Simplify your life. Scan all areas and clear both internal and external clutter. Rest, rejuvenate and only participate in what is truly important to you. Relinquish everything else. Do not delay. Do it now. When your life is cluttered with objects, relationships, time constraints and emotions, there's no room for spirit. There is too much static and too much stuff to connect your soul. The smallest amount of clutter clearing can make the biggest difference. So that's a beautiful message there, isn't it? It's basically get rid of clutter in your life and the things that you don't need to do to connect to spirit more. Security. Firelit Cave. In ancient times, our forebears took refuge in caves. It was there they could seek shelter from the weather and be protected from predators and enemies. The cave offered a safe place to prepare food, sleep, heal and build community. Caves were also the places where sacred spiritual ceremonies occurred, evidenced by cave drawings and altars that had been built along the ledges. Symbolically, caves often represented a secret pathway to the underworld, the divine womb of Mother Earth and the Sacred Heart. Also, caves can be energy portals for shamans or other, other spiritual explorers. What the landscape wants you to know that you are safe and protected. No matter what is occurring in your life, you are in safe hands. Those in the realm of spirit are watching over you. You can relax and let go. And once you've taken measures to protect yourself and those you love, such as making sure everyone has their seat seatbelt on in the car, making sure your insurance is paid on time, or replacing the filter on your heating unit, then let go. If you've been hypervigilant lately, take hypervigilant late lately take a break relax no all is well you can turn it all over to the creator so that's beautiful messages and again double confirmation that you are protected at this time okay so finally your angel dream oracle message 
selenite, spiritual activation, stimulation. So this is a really beautiful crystal to have in your home. You know, it cleanses areas of negative energy. I have a very large selenite um, point or pyramid, I don't know what you call it, in my home. Um, it's a very good crystal to have, okay, to help cleanse and also connect you to spirit. And it can activate you, you know, with your third eye and your higher crown chakra. Those are your messages, part two. Thank you for watching. Many blessings. Take care.